Poly Packs. Hey guys, got a video here for you guys, fresh off uh, <laughs> the pack battle with Wax Packs where we broke uh, some 1986 tops to see who could get the best cards out of that or, or um, uh, you know, he had his, uh, he had his automatic win cards of Sean Donson. I had my automatic one of Don Mattingly. Um, so as you can see, <laughs> I got this one for him. So opening this up so that we could, uh, so I can see what I can get out of it. Um, but after looking at some of these cards, the, looking at the 86 set, I didn't realize that it really wasn't as much star power as I thought there was in this set. Um, no real big rookies uh, to be had here. You know, Harold Reynolds, um, Mariana Duncan, um, Vince Coleman has, the, I think, the biggest rookie card. Roger McDowell has a rookie card here. Um, but nothing, nothing really to write home about. Cecil Fielder. Has another one here, Ozzy Guillen, um, Lenny Dykstra, Jose Uribe, for what it's worth. Um, but nothing, nothing too crazy. It's the '86 Tops Traded Series. It obviously has the big ones, right? It has you know Barry Bonds, Jose Canseco, Bo Jackson, uh, and a few others here that you know, Andres Galarraga, you know, all that stuff. But um, a lot of good Hall of Famers, though, nonetheless. You got your George Brett, you got your Don Manley, you got your, well, Don Manley's not a Hall of Famer, but, you know, big names. Um, you got your second year with Eric Davis. Um, and you actually got your second year, Kirby Puckett and Roger Clemens out of this one as well. On top of Ryan Sandberg, you know, um, Nolan Ryan, the whole, the whole normal crew of people. So let me rip through these... Uh, cello packs i call them cello packs they are they are in cellophane so but they're rack packs um and let me see if we can get them here trying to, trying to open these off camera unsuccessfully and doing so in a way that's not going to ruin the andre dawson there you go and let's keep my george brett nice and Nice and neat. All right. All right, so the first grouping, right? Obviously, George Brett. Nice Hall of Fame card. Pretty clean, too. Pretty nice. Nicely centered card. Sharp corners. Pretty good. All right. Roy Thomas. Bill Buckner. All right. Dave Sachs. I don't know if it's any relation to Steve Sachs, but maybe. Gary Matthews Sr., right? So Gary Matthews Jr. played for a while here. I think maybe still plays. I'm not really sure. Bill Madlock, Mike Moore. Here we go. Nice Wade Boggs. A little off-center, I think, left to right, but uh, still good. a nice card nonetheless. Mike Brown looking very, <laughs> very suspect with his shades on there. Lee Lacey, Bob Baylor. Walt Terrell. Al Jones, Pete Vukovic, what? I'm not even saying that right, but that is a killer, killer haircut. That is the that is the quintessentials 80. I bet you he still has that same haircut. That's what my guess is. Enos Campbell. All right. Cabell, Cabell, Campbell, Cabell. All right, so we got Andre Dawson here. Another nice, sharp sharp cards these these cards are in pretty decent shape then Henderson Dave Henderson um I have to admit I, you know the some of these other ones that uh I've opened that are definitely a lot newer than these are uh in rougher shape than this is so we got a lot of league leaders though in this one you got Andre Dawson in that one is Mookie Wilson uh here's Whitey here huh Good, good classic manager there. Rick Camp, and why not end it with another leaders? I think that was like four league leaders in that one, right? One, two, three, four, and then five. Ugh. All right, and then Bill Stein. Is that the same last name? You guys can't be brothers, right? Hold on. 
Hold on, pause. I'm putting that aside. We'll we'll go through it in a second here. <laughs> it's gonna derail the whole video. I'm gonna look up that. All right, Danny Heap, Mike Sosha, Julio Franco. I think Julio's rookie card was eighty three, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Bill Doran, Dick Williams, Dave Concepcion. Good player for back. I mean, you look at that. Started out in seventy. Pretty decent player for for back in the day. Ray Knight and Tom Herr. Hold on one second. It I gotta look at this real quick. Alright, it ah one adds a C, the other one doesn't have a C. Alright. But what were the odds? What were the odds of that name is popping up? Alright, so this one we got the Sean Dotson second year. Uh, so this it's not necessarily his rookie, right? Because he had the draft picks rookie card uh, for 85 tops. But this is, I think, his first solo uh, card, if you will. And, well, I guess the other one was a solo card. First full year card, anyway. And I know Wax has already got a bunch of this guy, but at this year, but... Save it for him nonetheless, right? All right. You know, come to think of it, it's funny that this is, this one has the commemorative all-star card and the other two didn't have it. That's weird. Hmm. All right, anyway. We got Bob Welsh, Tom Hume, here we go, Tim Tolman, all right, trying to get, see, so this guy had a big part in the 86 World Series, but he got traded from the Mets to the Red Sox, and he had a pitch against Kevin Mitchell who kept the series alive, and they were roommates, so just a little heads up on that one. I only know that because I watched the 30 for 30 <laughs> on it. It's not like it was something I knew from the from before, but the thirty for thirty was pretty interesting of it though. This time of the sword is pretty good, but it looks like it's been run around a little bit. Tommy the sword, of Dave Devrecki, another crazy story. If you happen to read about that guy, he broke his arm while pitching. Um, that's that's crazy. He had I think he had cancer in the arm or something like that. Here's his nice Steve Carlton, a little off center to left to right, but. Good nonetheless. Um, and it was just pitched. His arm snapped mid, mid stride. Now, how does this card get all messed up? And the other ones don't. That's weird. Keith Hernandez. All right. All right. Now you got Sean Dunstan. Mike Morgan. Tim Wallach. And Dennis Eckersley. Strong hair, definitely strong hair. Through years, year in, year out, that dude has solid hair. Best, definitely deserves best hair in the game, I think, overall. Another league leaders. And why not another Sean Donston card? If one is good, two is better, but this one looks a little rough. That one looks like a little rough shape there. But nonetheless, there we go. All right, so this one has the commemorative all-star card in it, and the other ones didn't. I don't know why. I don't know how that all worked out, but. And I know you always have to be wary of, of these older packs, um, people being able to repackage and stuff. I still don't know how you can repackage the cellophane. I know, I understand the wax, part of it that seems pretty easy and pretty rudimentary to do and and a lot of people do it but i don't know how you do the cellophane i haven't really picked up on how to spot those uh fakes but here you go pete rose record breakers still no even out of all the quote-unquote notable rookies <laughs> in here here's your checklist for you roger craig I haven't uh I haven't come across any big, big stars or 
or any of the key rookies either in this whole set. You know, the Dave DeBrecki, Carlton Fisk, there you go. Another Steve Carlton, a little better center though there. Clean card, Tommy Lasorda, again, a little better, a little cleaner looking than the other one I had. Scott Sanderson, another Keith Hernandez. And last grouping here, you got Bobby V, Bobby Valentine, looking young. I think he just lost his mayoral, uh, yeah, he's from Stanford, Connecticut, uh, lives in White Plains, but he went back to Stanford, Connecticut. I think he ran for mayor or something, and he lost. Surprise, surprise. Uh, Lee Smith as the league leaders. Robin Yount. All right. I like that card. I'll take that. Benedict. And all right. And that's how we round it out. So, you know, you got some Hall of Famers in there. You got your George Brett. You got your two 1975 rookie boys together. Brett and Yount. A couple of Steve Carltons. Carlton Fisk and Andre Dawson back there. Wade Boggs was over there somewhere. And then you got your Dennis Eckersley. And then, of course, you got your two two in the same group, Sean Dawson's here, that I'll give over to Wax Packs. But, uh, but that is it. Again, the 1986, not too, not too uh, star powerful as far as, you know, the design isn't all that great and there's no big rookies. So, but an iconic set nonetheless, but the kind of the kickoff to the junk wax is what I think. So... I'll try and get some stuff prior to, you know, 85, 82s and things like that. I'll, I'll try and get that. And uh, But uh, that is all we got for this one. So, again, let me know if uh, I got pulled any of your favorites in this. And if you want them, hit me up before I, uh, before I dispose of them. I don't know how we're going to get rid of them, but I will. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye.